Hello, everybody, and I welcome uh, all of you at this ELETS Innovation Talk. This ELETS Innovation Talk is a campaign which is run by ELETS Techno Media, where we introduce you and interact with the leaders, eminent leaders of the industry, corporate sector, and uh, also government sector. Uh, we interact with the leaders who are making the change uh, uh, in ecosystem with their innovations and wonderful initiatives. And uh, this ELETS Innovation Talk uh, is one of the popular series of ELETS Techno Media, supported by eGov Magazine and eHealth Magazine and portals. So today uh, we have we have with us uh, another global leader uh, who is. Uh, uh, doing a lot of innovations, this organization is doing a lot of innovations uh, in terms of uh, 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 various um, uh, in initiatives in health sector and medical equipment sector. And uh, it is my honor and pleasure uh, to introduce uh, Mr. Kentaro Kusano, Managing Director of Nihon Koiden India. Warm welcome to uh, Mr. Kusano. And uh, to interact with him, uh, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Ravi Gupta, founder and CEO of Elex Technomedia and editor in chief of Ego Magazine and eHealth Magazine and Portal. I request Dr. Ravi Gupta to kindly start the conversation with uh, uh, the eminent leader of industries, uh, Mr. Kantario Kosano, MD of Nihon Koden, India. Dr. Ravi Gupta, over to you. Thank you, Karthik. Thanks for this opportunity. And uh, uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Kentaro Kusano, who is the Managing Director of Nihon Code in India. It's a great pleasure and honor to have you with us at uh, this ELETS Innovation Talk organized by eHealth uh, Magazine. And let me uh, give a, a brief uh, about uh, ELETS. Uh, I am Ravi Gupta. I am founder and CEO of ELETS Technology Media. Uh, Elets was formed in the year 2003, and we started our e-health magazine in the year 2005. And e-health is India's and perhaps Asia's first um, uh, magazine on ICT in health and healthcare technology, which has been published for last 18 years. And uh, we have been uh, highlighting the uh, various industry achievements, industry trends, latest tools and technologies, and latest innovations which are happening in the healthcare industry, healthcare ecosystem, through our magazine, through our portals, and through our conferences. And uh, I have uh, uh, with uh, me, uh, Mr. Kusano and uh, his company, uh, Neon uh, Coden, is one of the global leaders in healthcare technology sector. So uh, let me uh, ask uh, Mr. Kentaro Kusano that uh, please uh, tell us something about Nihon Code and business philosophy and background. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Ravi. So first of all, thank you for uh, inviting us uh, this uh, meeting. So it's an honor for us. So my name is Kenta Roksano, uh, Managing Director of Nihon Koden India. So let me introduce uh, Nihon Koden uh, slightly. So Nihon Koden was founded in 1951 by our founder, Dr. Ongino, then has completed 70 years uh, in this industry. So we welcome 70th anniversary this year. So in 70 years, we have grown strongly and uh, considered as one of the world's top medical equipment manufacturers, supplying our unique technology to all around the world. So our product uh, breeds on the case of continuous improvement, innovation, and uh, attention to the quality and usability. So when Dr. Onino founded this company, it was only 12 employees, but right now we have almost 6,000 employees globally. So we have many nationalities in our employees. We Nihon Koden respect all employees' nationality, culture, and identity. But uh, one thing for sure is that all employees work together under the one corporate philosophy which we contribute to the world 
by fighting disease and improving health with advanced technology and create fulfilling life for our employee. So personally, I like this philosophy very well uh, because most of companies never mention fulfilling life of employees in their corporate philosophy. So in uh, fulfilling our management philosophy, so our funda uh, fundamental goal is to establish trust and growth as a company that is recognized by its customers, shareholders, business partners and society for its supreme product, service, technology, financial standing, and employee. Fantastic. I think uh, great to hear uh, that you are celebrating the 70th anniversary of the company, which is a big, big uh, milestone. I, I, I don't think a lot of the companies uh, exist so long. I mean, many companies die uh, before achieving like 70 years of age so hats off to your organization and your focus on having building a company philosophy where you uh, focus on customers and your partners and your employees also sorry my camera i went off give me a second and uh, let me ask you uh, next is a question which is about Please share some of the unique contributions in terms of inventions in medical technology by Nihon Koden. Hey, thank you. So Nihon Koden is famous for the unique contribution to the medical industry in both ME and IBD segment. So I feel proud that many of our products are with unique and unmatchable feature available in the market. So we are not selling product itself but our value like uh, technology and uh, quality to our customers. So we are always keen to develop and invent excellent technologies which contribute patient, doctor, and uh, uh, other medical staff. So today I'd like to introduce uh, one invention which made medical standards, uh, uh, medical standards change dramatically in the world. So in 1974, yes, in 1974, our employee, Dr. Aoyani, developed the principle of pulse oximetry. So pulse oximetry measures blood oxygen saturation, uh, non invasive with an uh, infrared sensor of the fingertip. So before that, the measurement of blood oxygen saturation requires arterial blood sampling. So thanks to uh, pulse oximetry, the critical uh, parameter of SpO2 can be measured painlessly, continuously, and in real time. So it's no invasive method, and we have experienced the importance of SpO2 during the COVID pandemic. So today, I think the finger pulse oximeter, which is a Nihon Koden invention, is available in almost every third home in India. Amazing, amazing that, that uh, I, I think uh, this oximeter uh, became the most important device in the COVID situation. And uh, almost uh, every household, at least in the urban mm. area, uh, yeah bought one and uh, like it saved uh, so much trouble uh, for everyone uh, that, that they, uh, they did not have to go to any hospital to uh, measure the oxygen level. So a great invention. Hats off to your company. Now let me ask you that uh, we are all aware that Japanese technology is unquestionable and globally reliable in terms of results and accuracy. Do you think that in India, Nihon code and products are considered appreciated for the same? OK, so firstly, let me explain about the Nihon code in India. So we have started uh, our business here in India in 2011. So for us, the parameter of the success in India is repeat order. So if our product and service is a variable one, 
so we can get the repeat order. We are always checking the percentage of the uh, repeat order to know our reputation. So yes, uh, we have confidence. The response we get in India is commendable and uh, appreciable. So since decades, uh, our customers are with us and most of them give us repeat order as well. So repeat, uh, repeat, uh, repeat sales from same customer is a proof of their trust to us. So customers like our product and they will also want to remain associated with Nihon Koden, which gives, the, which gives us confidence in bringing new innovative technology in the market. Then for us, uh, talking about India, India is uh, one of the most important market for Nihon Koden. So that's why we launched new instrument which was developed while thinking about the solution we can give to Indian customer. So recent introduction of uh, our MEK1305, which is world first instrument that at ESR to CBC test with art, uh, much cost addition has been appreciated across the country and uh, we are also getting overwhelming response uh, from the Indian laboratory for the same. So personally, I believe uh, our product are one of the best and well suited and accepted by Indian doctor, laboratory and hospital. Fantastic, fantastic that uh, 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 like uh, good to hear uh, uh, that you are uh, having repeat uh, customers and uh, this means that people are trusting you and uh, there is a huge uh, a, a amount of uh, trust built in your company. Uh, let me ask you another question that uh, you are uh, uh, having this uh, uh, new hematology analyzer which gives CBC plus ESR which is uh, something revolutionizing uh, and new for the industry. So how it is going to help uh, laboratories and patients? Thank you for this question. So, uh, but to be honest, hematology analyzer are uh, manufactured and uh, supplied by many companies. And uh, if we talk about three part analyzer, there are a variety of instrument uh, which has a minor modification, but which are not of much value to the pathologist. So Nihon Koden always believe in innovation that add value to the laboratory, not just in clinical time, but also save time and money of laboratories, uh, along with giving commercial benefit. So recently, uh, uh, sorry, uh, luckily, uh, I can find uh, four other standing uh, features. The one is same time of laboratory. The second one is same cost of operations. Third one is uh, enhanced patient experience and uh, convenience because of low sample volume for ESR. And the last one is ESR that is comparable to gold, uh, gold standard method, and uh, it's the uh, world's first. So MEK1305 saved cost of ESL by more than 90%. And I think normal ESL is done in 50 to 20 uh, rupee. But uh, in our technology, laboratory can do it in less than one rupee. Fantastic. So uh, what is the message uh, you have for Indian doctors and laboratories um, from uh, Nihon Code in India? Yes, so Nihon Code want to make uh, clinical decision making easier and uh, convenient without compromising accuracy and the precision of results. So at Nihon Code, medical technology is our passion and uh, specialty. So we feel proud of thankful to all the doctor, laboratory specialists, uh, uh, critical care specialists, 
for using and appreciating our product in India. So we always try to give you the best of the technology to make your medical practice stress-free and help you to provide the best patient care. Please uh, briefly uh, introduce about the medical equipment segment of uh, your company and uh, and what are the unique features in this? Okay, so in ME segment, uh, currently we are dealing with patient monitor, brain data, uh, cardiology, uh, research station, and the neurology product like uh, EEG or EMG machine. So one, uh, our ME product uh, continue to measure care area of hospital, starting from patient entry in emergency room, ICU, wards, operating theater, so on. So we also have a LED in research station product line, which are used uh, for out of hospital, like a public area, uh, airport or office building. So about the AV segment, I'd like to tell you the fact that Nihon Koden Foundation is based on ME. So true to the company's funding uh, purpose, uh, within four months, the initial team of 12 members developed the world's first external direct writing EEG, which was uh, completely AC powered. And subsequently, Nihon Koden has developed many unique sensing technology and uh, algorithm. So, as I told you, so SPO2 is um, one of the unique sensing technology. Also, Nihon Koden has introduced world's first mainstream CO2 sensor, which is lightest and compact, and could be used for non-intubative patients. The, uh, lastly, I'd like to introduce our new technology. It's ESCCO. The ESCCO, which is a novel technology used to measure non-invasive con uh, continuous cardiac output, CCO, of the patient. Based on a uh, pulse wave transit time, it doesn't need any dedicated cardiac sensor for the measurement. Hence, no additional cost to the patient in ICU and uh, in other uh, uh, care area, like uh, operating uh, theater or ward. Uh, the, apart from these, there are um, many other unique technology in our ME product segment, which are patient centric. So, talking about it will put us in shortage of time situation. Fantastic, fantastic. So, uh, good to uh, know that, that uh, several uh, like initiatives and innovations are happening at uh, your company, which are very, very useful. And uh, let me ask you uh, lastly about that uh, you have uh, recently launched a ventilator, which is a unique but costly product compared to other uh, products in the uh, market. So, if you can highlight about like some of the features of this product. Yes, so we launched a new ventilator, NKV 550 in last fiscal year. So it's a high-end ventilator with a lot of unique technology. So uh, to be honest, regarding its cost, uh, I would uh, say good quality and the feature have some cost. So it provides seamless transition between invasive and innovative uh, ventilation as well as high flow oxygen therapy. So it helps optimizing the workflow of the clinician as changing ventilation approaches doesn't require a change of ventilator. Our unique dashboard with up best, uh, up best uh, function is designed to guide the clinician through the various manipulations and the procedures that are needed to perform in a systematic and user-friendly manner. So the LKB550 is created on the lung protective approaches and features a gentle lung suite of applications to provide clinically relevant, easy to use tools for the uh, open lung approach to ventilator. 
our uh, protective control feature provides the clinician a safe, uh, full, uh, functional second user interface and easily implement need uh, ventilator setting change. So when treating patient with continuous tissues and uh, who are undergoing a radiologic uh, procedure with remaining with uh, site of clinician. This is a last feature of our new ventilator. Fantastic. So uh, I think uh, you have explained uh, well about the uh, Neon, Foden, and various technologies and products, which are very, very innovative and uh, complements to that. Uh, uh, you are a uh, market leader in this uh, industry and complements for completing 70 years of winning trust of customers and employees, which is a great achievement. Hats off to, to you. And in the end, uh, uh, Mr. Kusano, I want to ask you that uh what's uh, your opinion about the work we are doing at elets and e-health uh, magazine uh, uh, you have seen our events you have seen our uh, magazine so any uh views uh, you have uh, about us yes uh but to be honest uh before uh coming to india uh, i didn't know about your company but uh after reaching to india so our staff immediately introduced uh, your company so for how can i say uh, growing healthcare uh in india is very important and uh, in that case your company role is very important so it's so uh, I can get a good uh, impression uh, and uh, I can understand the Indian situation uh, from your side. And uh, we can also have a communication, uh, communication with uh, uh, other company guys. I think it's very nice for uh, growing Indian healthcare. Of course, uh, every company has to manage our company, but uh, at least we are stay in India. We have to contribute to Indian healthcare. I think this is a duty for our uh, industry and uh, company. This is my opinion. Sure. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kusano. It has been a uh, pleasure uh, talking to you. Uh, thank you on behalf of eHealth uh, Magazine, eHealth Portal, and Elets uh, Techno Media uh, for uh, being with us. And uh, we are sure that our uh, viewers uh, will enjoy this session with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Ravi.